Mm. Yeah. Nothing like a hot cup of tea in the morning to get your heart jumping. <laughs> or, a, or a hot woman. <laughs> Let me stop playing. What's up, Steam Deck fans? <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. So, Valve is in the news. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Stay in the news. The video game news is real estate, so... You, 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 got, you got to stay in the news to stay competitive, man. If you're not in the news, man, then you're falling off. Okay? Anyway, what are we talking about here today? Oh, boy. Let's see. What do we got here? Steam Deck. All right. So, Valve, got we got some news to report here. It says here, uh, got, got this article on Gamer's Rent. Came out two hours ago. It says here, Valve working to improve download speed for users ahead of Steam Deck launch. Ain't that nice. <laughs> so all you need right now is a Steam Deck, a PC, and an Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and you're good. Or you're gaming. <laughs> Sorry, PlayStation fans. <laughs> anyway, see so you read up for this article. Let's do this. Um, says here, Valve working to improve download speeds for users ahead of Steam Deck launch. A new Valve patent detail and improved methods for updating games and downloading new content ahead of Steam Deck launch early next year. It says here, Valve is one of PC's gaming's, PC gaming longest running service and, and as such is consistently looking for ways to improve its products and platforms. Ahead of next year's launch of the Steam Deck, Valve appeared to be investing in new technology. Excellent. You're learning now, Valve. Anyway, that should improve download speeds on its devices. Mm. Says in recent weeks, Valve has been making a plethora of moves in advancing its pro platform for starters. Valve announced that Steam Deck developer tools do not require an actual dev kit, opening up the possibilities of users who can actually create content for the, for the device. Similarly, Valve and Microsoft came to a licensing agreement regarding the former Havoc engine and modding, giving more accessibility to certain modding teams. Lastly, and perhaps disappointingly, Valve delayed the Steam Deck by two months, citing problems with its global supply chain in actual manufacturing devices, an ongoing problem in video game industry over the past two years. And then it says here, a new patent, a new Valve patent suggests the company is working to improve the way content downloads are handled on its device. The patent title Efficient File Delivery Techniques was, was filed back in May of 2020 and device and describes I'm sorry, a new form of downloading content that prioritizes minimal file tra uh, transfers, uh, transferals which in turn will optimize download time and network bandwidth. Valve Patton then is for a remote system that after receiving an update from a developer identify which portion of the new version are new and which portion were present in previous version and restructures the update to increase download efficiency and show, shows a diagram here nice little diagram too it says here uh, take this take this scenario the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt receive a major new update which with one user playing the game non-stop since its release and another user user coming back to its after a couple of years the user who has been playing all this time will most likely have the most up-to-date version of the game while the user who has not touched the game in a long time will have a very old version of the game with the remote system detail in Valve's pattern despite being technically the same update models and version each users will receive modified instructions to perform the update that will modify existing files and add new ones where necessary to improve download performance. And I think it says here, 
this development could be a game changer in the way that updates are rolled out on the Steam platform. If the remote system can actually decrease the bandwidth being used in updating games, then that is a plus for any PC or Steam user. However, the patent simul simultaneously <laughs> raises the question of whether developers are optimizing their updates, updates as much as they would, they should, sorry about that, <laughs> or rather, do developers have responsibility of releasing the most refined version of its updates as possible? Valve patent suggests that updates can sometimes be pretty inefficiently designed making its remote system uh, necessary and that's the end of the article so valve is updating their uh, their download speed for their steam deck you know it reminds me when um when the xbox one xbox one was out and uh the fans were talking to uh microsoft fans were talking were talking to Microsoft in the community about improving improving the, the Xbox One's uh, download speed and um, uh, Phil Spencer with the Xbox team they came out and made an announcement you know, about improving the, the improving the, uh, the download speed for Xbox One so this is a uh, this is a this is this is good news for uh, for uh, for for, for the Steam Deck, um, the thing the thing with um, the the thing with uh, Steam um, one th one thing about the sorry one thing about the Xbox One whether whether a player whether a player stops playing stop let's say let's say I stop playing a game today right and then about five months from now I come back and I start playing the same game with Xbox One. The game still the, the the Xbox One collects collects updates collects updates whether the system is on or off you will always see your hard drives blinking you see your hard drives blinking so that means updates is coming in so on the Steam Deck is 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 similarly similarly the same thing you know your Steam your Steam Deck should be should be collecting updates whether a person stops say stop playing say let's say they don't play Left 4 Dead for two months. They don't play Left 4 Dead 2 for about two months or three months. The Steam Deck should be still collecting the updates. So when that person's when that person returned to play the game, the game is up to date. So it's the same thing with Xbox One because when I got an Xbox One, I was all sitting there, I was sitting there all happy. Yay! One terabyte, one terabyte. And then I got to find out that one terabyte hard drives on Xbox One is a complete joke. <laughs> Because the more get, the the get, the system just get updates after updates after updates. I mean, they just come in, man. So you 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 had to get you had to get you a big you, you had to get you a big hard drive. It's the same thing with the Steam Deck. It, if if a person stop playing a game, say like say today, and they don't come back to the game to about January, the Steam Deck the Steam Deck should be collecting the update collecting the updates that was released that was released and then when the person started playing in January they their, their, their game is updated I got an Xbox one right now and I'm telling you that system get updates <laughs> it get updates man every game on my con every game on my Xbox one right now it get updates man I mean what uh, what uh what red dead redemption online got updated so does red dead redemption uh two so did uh <laughs> so did the master chief collection so did our uh, dc universe skyrim i mean the games get updates and then in the microsoft store when you go buy those expansions and stuff like that oh yeah that's extra updates you got to add on top of the game you had so it's the same thing with the steam deck man um uh you know uh the Steam, the Steam Deck should be collecting updates. Whether you have the system on or off, you know, just like our Xbox One do, you know. So, so um, this is this is good news though for Valve though, you know, to stay relevant in the game gaming news business because the the gaming news, the gaming news is real estate in video games. 
You know, you got to stay cause you got you got to stay on top of it. So this was good news to hear from them. Good to hear from you, Valve. Wake up <laughs> and stop sleeping. <laughs> anyway, what I'm gonna do is this. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box with this article and this video. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing or Dark Side? Shh. No. Peace. <clears throat> Messing around. <laughs>